be doing. So, unchangeably, I'm Rinos Ufela, and as promised today, we're going to be talking about Galacteria. Yes, yeah, so please grab your juice, grab your seeds, grab your moss, grab your chewing gum, grab your sweets because today let's lecture may be, I'm presuming it may be a bit lengthy, but it's going to be interesting. Don't change that down. So, as a way of um, definition, let me just say, let me just give us a brief of what we're talking about. We're going to be talking about the overview of Galacteria, causes of Galacteria, signs and symptoms, risk factors, how Galacteria can cause infertility. We're going to be talking about that as well. So as a way of definition, Galacteria is a milky nipple discharge in a non-lactating breastfeeding or a non-pregnant woman. Very simple. The woman is not pregnant, she's not breastfeeding, she's not lactating, and she's um, expressing milk from her breast or her nipple. So it can happen in both sexes, in men, in women, and then also in neonates or infants. For the neonates, we call it wheat milk, and it is a normal physiological experience, meaning that if it happens, it's not something you should worry about. It will normally clear off on its own, normally to clear off. It's just because of um, exchange of hormones in utero, pardon me, that's why that happens, and with time, it will clear off. For the men, it is due to testosterone deficiency, and it can cause erectile dysfunction, it can cause gynecomastia, that's the enlargement of the breast in the male it can also cause them um, lack of sexual appetite you know then so in the female i like to group galacteria into big two basic group which is the expressible and the non-expressible galacteria you may not see it like this online but it's just my way of making it simpler for us in the expressible galacteria the woman has to be the one to press on the breast before we can see this milk or before there can be mucus discharge. In unexpressible, it is spontaneous and more dangerous because it just keeps pouring. It stains her bra, it stains her clothes. Once she comes back from work or school, pulling her bra off, the milk is flowing. That is non-expressible, which is more dangerous because in that, we may be querying what we call a prolactinoma, which is a tumor that mimics the function of the prolactin. Prolactin is an hormone in the body which is responsible for the production of milk. And when we say there's galacteria, we should expect that there is raised prolactin level in the body. But in the non-expressible galacteria, normally 